Hey, Leia, over here. I just finished speaking with Emberthal. I'm not sure what, but something is bothering her. She had lots of odd questions about visage forms. Could she be ready to choose one? How exciting! I think I saw her head over to the Victoria's visage. You should check on her. I bet you could get her to spill the secret. Speak with Emberthal in the Victoria's visage. And I will receive... It's... It, I, always, I just always laugh when I see that you'll receive like two gold, 80 silver, 90 copper. It's like... I know they probably have a script to fill those rewards in, but it's kind of like, thanks, I guess. I know it adds up, but... I'm not going to decline. Of course I'm going to accept that. Until next... So you can't really speak to anyone other than Emberthal, okay. At this point, anyway. What do you have to report? I take it Chromie sent you? Stay true. Who are you? Perhaps Cinder Thresh is right. Still, if I'm to pick a visage, I should at least give it some thought. I just do not fully understand the concept, concept of visage forms. I have heard that visage is, is supposed to be one's own expression of self. How does one discover what that is? Maybe some of the individuals here in Valdrak can hold the answer. Arleia, I need you to gather intel. I will remain here. Report back your findings when you are finished. Speak to nine Valdraken visitors in Valdraken. Okay, so... Okay, looks like We that. will find our fate. So we have two over here. Both Veldraken. So let's speak to them first. Both, sorry, Drakthir. How fair you. This hair stuff is really fun. Quest. How did you find your truest self? She's actually wearing the, the hair that I have on, on uh, one of my Drakthir. How did I find myself? Truly, my visage feels... Like my realest self. Odd, isn't it? When I first claimed my visage form, I knew immediately. I'm just able to be me. Not a soldier, not a jack the air, just tailing. And this hairstyle thing, and this hairstyle thing, it's to die for. You can change it up whenever you want. Daily, even. A minute, even. <laughs> Be bold. Be true. Loretta. The skies call to me. I feel ill at ease without my scales. How did you find your truest self? I know my companion does not agree, but I find my visage form inconvenient. Scales, teeth, wings, tail. I feel so exposed without them. I am Drakthir. When I am in visage, I cannot reach anything. My truest self is who I am. Who I always present. There are advantages to a visage, but one could capture my elegance or ferocity. But none can capture my elegance and ferocity. Farewell. I don't think there's anyone else in here. Ah, interesting. We have a DK and Demon Hunter. All right. I think it's a Demon Hunter. He's got a blindfold on him, so he's a Demon Hunter. Since he's a Demon... Oh, he's got the, the fell uh, tattoos, so yes. All right, so let's talk to him first. Stalvin Dawnburst. My life is dedicated to destroying the Burning Legion. I'm, I'm glad, because you, you did. <laughs> it's gone now. I gave up what I must to protect those I love. Quest, how did you find your truest self? I am who I always was. My duty in life has remained the same, to protect those I hold dear to me. As a means to this end, I embrace the fell. I sacrificed my eyes, my soul, 
I let demonic energies warp my very being. Stelvin is still here. My family was not so understanding. They cannot see past the changes. In their eyes, their son passed long ago. They need not more. Can they not see I did this for them? If we do not meet again, die well. Okay. Death Knight! We press on! Doria... What's her name? Doria Ravenblight. I have found myself in undeath. Quest, how did you find your truest self? I barely remember who I was in life. She seems like a different person now. This form is who I am now. I do not use the same name I used while living. I have changed too much. I used to resent it, to be truthful. I still do. I long for my beating heart. I pined for the warmth of my blood. I hated myself. Or at least that's what I thought. I did not hate myself. I resented my inability to choose. That right was stolen from me. I still dream of who I could have been. However, I realize that holding on to what could have been would only continue to stifle who I am. I would not, it would not be my life, but that of a stranger. Another time. So I do like that they, um, every motorcycle in the city tonight, every, every, every motorcycle in the city. Um, it is, yeah, it's, it's above 70. So, I kind of, I do like that they uh, included a uh, Death Knight and a Demon Hunter as part of this, because... It's kind of like, that would be, you know, they changed. Ah, and likely. I mean, and along those lines, you've got two working. Not the real swift stream. The pack comes before all us. Quest, how did you find your true self? The definition of self is forever changing. If you asked me who I was before this curse, I would have said a fierce protector of my people. I would have gone to any lengths to ensure they were safe. And I went too far. Yet after hundreds of years of mindless animal instinct, the me you see now is not the one that once existed. The years I have lost. I have, found myself, I have found myself through the lens of humility. A druid that no longer seeks to fight but to teach. To teach future generations the danger of arrogance. Who am I now? A worgen and a teacher. Spite it all, I am Silvarden. How did you find your truest self? I used to think... I was only my human form. How could I be myself as some hairy mongrel? I refused to call myself a worgen. I told myself it was nothing but a curse. I never chose. But I dreamed of hunting. I could smell the freshness of the forest breeze. I could tell I could no longer deny who I became. It was time for me to embrace it. I am Varden Claridge. I am Worgen. I did not choose this, but I do accept it. I greet you. The void is part of us all. That's not true. Quest, how did you find your truest self? It is a constant battle to find myself every day. Many do render I concerned about losing themselves when they first embrace the void. And indeed, it would be a difficult task to decipher your own thoughts from the shadows. I can no more separate myself from the void than a fish from water. But I no longer fear it. Yes, it has changed me. But when I look back on my former self, I see that the void was always present. I have changed very little. Ooh. All right, is that? I need two more. My fate is my own. Autographed? My bad. Yes. So, but if you go up to him, how are you? Would you sign my copy of the Lusty Draconian, Draconian Mage? Mm -hmm. And then it turns into um, signed by the author, Noah Scribson. Organ Warp Chain. Warp Chain? There could be no brawn without brains. Quest. 
we'll get a look at our guy here. Um, how did you find your truest self? I am a warrior and a scholar. These two identities need not be mutually exclusive. I enjoy dusty tomes just as much as bloodied skulls. I used to hide this from my comrades. I feared they would not understand. This was not the case, however. My clan laughed at my hesitation, saying they knew all along about my secret reading hobby. <laughs> now I need to not limit myself to Organ the Warrior any longer. I am more than that. Strength. <laughs> okay, so Pu'er is my last one so I have to go to is not here. Oh, all the way over there. She... She's high mount. All right. No, she's not high mount. How may I aid you? My family is everything to me. Quest, how did you find your truest self? I view myself through the lens of my family. Xanda and I found Mova when she was an infant, abandoned and helpless. We were only hope. Looking back before Mova, I had many worries. Sorry. Mova's running around being adorable. Um, looking back before Mova, I had many worries. So many meaningless and unimportant things that filled my days with stress. In motherhood, I have found serenity. Mova dwarfed all those worries, eclipsed all the stress. She taught me what was truly important to me. My truest self is my family. Okay. So... So are they... So are they together? Oh, cool. Goodbye. All right. My goods are crafted with great care. Mova keeps her hands most days. She's the light of our lives, though. I guess so, yeah. So sometimes I do wish our family shed a little less. <laughs> Uh, is an enormous task keeping our home clean and free of fur bunnies. Oh my gosh. Thank you for travel safe. Allowing me to think about those concerns about the game now. <laughs> Thank you, Blizzard. Okay, MOBA. Hella says I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. All right, then you very good. Then you just I won't tell you any when you talk to me. Okay, so Pella. Oh yeah, they have look. They share they share last name. That's wonderful. I love it. Right, time to turn this in. I am ready to serve. The Porch of Findings to Emberthal. Oh, damn. It's choices. How would Arlea answer? Okay. What have you learned about identity? Four options. Identity is something you choose. Identity is the sum of one experiences. Identity is who you will surround yourself with. Identity is defined by your preferences. This is like the most difficult question this game has ever asked me. This is like an existential question. This game is making me have to like... Identity is the sum of one's experiences. I will mess with other uh, other characters to see what the response is. If, like, you don't have a choice between... I'm assuming... Or rather, I think I saw on someone else's stream during the test <laughs> that you can only choose one, because Emberthal already has her answer, but we'll see. Let's go. Identity is the sum of one's experiences. Oh. Okay. Who taught you this lesson? Tell Emberthal about Varden Claridge, a worgen from Gilneas. Tell Emberthal about Doria Ravenblight, the Death Knight.
Let me go with the Worgen. Varden did not get to choose his fate. He has made the most of an unfortunate situation. I do not believe I could display such restraint when speaking to the parties responsible. He has made peace with this part of himself that has troubled him over many years. A part of him he had no choice in. To live with self-hatred must not be easy. I do not feel that way about myself. Varden has little to offer me in the way of advice. Ask Amberthal what she plans to do. So, that's all I get to suggest. So, it looks like I'm going to have to try this on multiple characters just to see if they're, how the responses are, because I, I'm missing out on stuff. I don't like that. All right, ask Amberthal what she plans to do. Fair skies and strong winds. Interesting. These are quite the varied answers. I only gave you one complete quest. Stay true. And remain unsatisfied by these answers. It is unfortunate. It is fortunate they know themselves, but I possess none of the qualities. I fear I now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Emberthal, wait! I didn't even get to finish speaking to Ah, Anyway, what she said was I remain unsatisfied by these answers. It is fortunate they know themselves, but I possess none of the qualities they espoused. I fear I am now more unsure than ever. Excuse me, Arleia. Viridia says, Emberthal, wait. And now, oh, they've got, oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> Kellick, what did you get here? <laughs> just popped on in. Just, I didn't even see you show up. All right, rude, but okay. All right. Sit with Thresh. I'm ready. What do you need? Don't threaten me with a good time. Embethal seems worried, but I'm sure she'll come back. And when she does, she'll pick a visage form. Chromie told us all about the celebrations dragons used to have for visage day. So Caligos and I am going to blow stuff up. Fireworks, mostly. <laughs> we'll need some arcane residue to make them, though. Convenient. There are some arcane elementals just outside the Gardens of Unity that are ripe for the harvest. The three of us have some other preparations to make here in Valdraken. Collect a hundred arcane residue from Volatile Arcana in the Cascades. Anything for an ally. Okay, Kalik, what you got? It's good to see you again. It's good to see you too. What was Chromie's visage day like? Oh, we can ask him about it too. Okay. A visage celebration requires a dragon's touch. Uh, Alright. Chromie came to me looking for guidance about her visage form. Not unlike Emberthal is doing now. It was the first time I had met Chromie, and she was a far cry from the confident, snappy gnome you're familiar with. She agonized over her decision, asking many different dragons why they had chosen the visage they had. I told her the truth. I prefer to spend my time around mortals, and this form allows us to be peers. Eagle. We were also very excited when it came time for the ceremony. I must admit, it was not what anyone was expecting, but it is uniquely Chromie. I think it suits her perfectly. I want to ask you something else. Gather your rosebuds. All buds. will be well. Emberthal is quite is quite troubled. It reminds me of a certain bronze dragon when she chose her visit charm. Not to worry. Once Emberthal has returned, she'll throw a proper visage day celebration. The fireworks are to match the colors of the dragon fights. Each enclave of the city throws special flowers in accordance with that our enclave's flight. Three of each color should be enough for the first batch of fireworks. Collect three, three of each colors of flight flower and bell dragon. Fly true. There's magic in everything. What's that about? <laughs> you have your orders. Oh, she's back here. Oh, this is a very important. I think I need to go to the red zone. Go 
y a personne. Now I have to go. Oh, the other. Right. So going. What are the dragon colors again? Bronze and green are on the other side. Blizzard, you failed me. All of these options suck. to kill some stuff by the cascades I'll just kill these there were a lot when I was there. I'm assuming they drop a lot of residue each they hit hard really yes, game they do. yes they do they hit far too hard this late in the game. Okay, so they drop about roughly 10 and change each. Yeah. So I'm killing about 10. So your standard amount of kills, basically. I was very disgruntled. Um. I'm literally just like, I'm collecting shit while waiting for shit to respawn. Yeah. I need a hundred of those things. I need a hundred of both things, actually. Get away from me! You want to help? We can work together. Yeah, Tag I that. Just run around with the my druid is very much destructible. Die! Yeah. Where did Ember fall go? Did she just wander off on her own? Uh, yeah, she's like, I'm. Yes. Go in here for these two. Cinder Thresh. You call that a uniform? <sighs> these volatile elementals make the perfect base for fireworks. Let's get back to training. Now we're talking. You have your orders. This world is full of wonder. Together, we can achieve Thank you, anything. Thank This should be sufficient. Keep safe. Okay, Viridia, what you got? My duty is to help others. Dragon Isle's adventuring, being yourself. I worry about Emberthal, her mood has grown increasingly dark. By sticking to citizens of the city, she is looking for ways she is similar to them, instead of what makes her unique. Perhaps a broader sample size is in order. I do agree. I support research with decent sized sample sizes. <laughs> She needs stories to guide her. There are many such individuals with stories to tell in the Dragon Isles. Oh, now we're branching out. Got it. Go and speak to them. Would that I go myself, but the duties of a scale commander never rest. Speak with eight residents of the Dragon Isles. Ah, the tavern. Residents of the Dragon Isles and listen to their stories. Personal tavern. Take care of yourself. I forgot that the tavern was actually linked to this quest. Um, so these you get from the, the quest, the general quest line. 
quest. What makes you who you are? Serving Mara has always been my most honored duty. Though I was built to serve this role, I have neither found it to be uncomfortable or ill-fitting. I take pride in my service. All of Lady Mara's refty do. There's a great comfort in knowing with certainty that one's purpose is. Is there not? This is who I am. Keepers watch you. Okay, so that's one down. Anyone else? Anyone else in this zone? Nope. Oh, we're going to these two. All right, cool. I remember you. I have lived to see them return. I got all the ducks for them. Um. What makes you who you are? That's quite the question. Ishka pauses to think for a moment. Well, before I met Tharu, I was even slower to act than I am now. I've always preferred to wait and see, and take a measured approach. That hasn't changed, but Tharu has helped me come out of my hesitant shell, so to speak. He respects who I am, but also compliments it. I'm half of both of our whole. Now we talk. I guess Tharu is speaking. May the flights protect us. Quest, what makes you who you are? I've always been sure of myself, Anishka, and he described me as a rash, bold, impulsive, and impulsive. He's not wrong, nevertheless. But I think being with Ishka has balanced me out. We're more opposite than we're more opposite than two dragon spawn can be, and that I feel more complete with him by my side. Our differences highlight what make us unique. May the flights protect. This is sacred land. Wind Sage Dawa. What makes you who you are? Greetings, Red. A large part of who I am stems from my love for Narma. Oh, these are two that you were... Okay. I think you are getting them married earlier on in the uh, plot of things. Yeah. Oh, yes. There was so much grumbling and stamping of hooves on behalf of Elder Odgarel. It is true. We skipped many ceremonies and traditions, but our love was true. And we knew it was time. I'm grateful that our clans agree. Where will the wind take you? Hunter Narman. I've devoted my life to the hunt. But the time has come for me to devote myself to another. I only hope that I am as capable a partner as I am a hunter. What makes you who you are? My clan's tradition dictates that I was to marry a master hunter, worthy of being at my side. From the moment I met Dawa, I knew that could not be the case. Tradition is important, yes. Being part of Clan Shakar is a big part of who I am, but it's not all of it. Instead, I chose to follow my heart, and I am fortunate that Sarakan saw that I was true. May your prey fly low and run slow. Uh, hooked up. And they're in here. Now this this poor uh dragon This poor dragon he can't get in because he's a two foot. The aspects have returned. My buddy convinced me to come here with him, but when they wouldn't let me in, he went in without me. I'm looking for love too, you know? Honor. Oh. Honey. So, as you can see, it's it's your regular bar, but you can they let you to buy they allow you to buy food. I'm not selling a steamy romance. I need to make sure I have it in my inventory, and then I will sell the steamy romance. And it, it is, is it them that you talk to? Yes. Cool. All right. So here they are. Uh, Scout Sentin and... What's her? I forget her name. Hello. I guess you can't talk to her? All right. Anyway, you can talk to Scout Sentin. She grins happily. Thanks again for all your help. So you do help them. What makes you who you are? Hello, Arleia. Dryads and centaurs might look like they're similar, but we're very different. Who says opposites don't attract? Many of my clan consider any time spent with a dryad as wasted. Better spent elsewhere. They say that there's no way a dryad can focus for long enough for anything that's not in the gardens. Maybe that's the case, but I'm still drawn to them. It's just my nature, I suppose. Many thanks for helping me out. 
Fight with fury, then rest. So I need to find two more. Oh, I can talk to Irina. Irina smiles, smirks slightly. She seems rather pleased with the situation. No. Oh, I have to go. I guess the last two are in Azure Span, so. Wait, what's your Albi? Wow, I haven't spoken to them in a while. Yeah, I haven't spoken to them in a while. I mean, I know I've stopped by here, but it's been a while. But yeah, Alvi, there's a whole quest with Alvi. So long ago now. The Isles have awakened. It's good to see you, friend. I've just started my my latest work. I have a good feeling about this one. Nori says she will hang it up back at the Gelikir if it's up to snuff. Back at it, Gelikir. Um, quest, what makes you who you are? At some level, I've always known my path was to be an artist. I simply simply did not fit into the mold of Waywatcher. I'm much happier now that I've accepted it. Instead of trying to force myself to be something I'm not. A strange sort of peace to finally stop fighting it. To accept that sometimes you must defy others' expectations of you. Go in service. I agree. All right. And who's next? I have one left, I think. Yes. Oh, okay. I guess I'm going to the Azure Span. I guess I have to do them in order because they weren't showing up before. <laughs> it. Yes, it's no. It's yep. Monarch. Yes. I was yep. hoping it was Monarch. Yes. All right. This makes me very happy. He's got a little. He's got a little. I don't know what he's got. All right, Monarch. You make okay, no, but better friend. They look over your their shoulder over your shoulder. Our friend's hungry though. Run. Ask Monarch if they are king or queen. I don't think I asked this before. Monarch won't tell me. Alright. What makes you who you are? Me not like other gnolls. Me first gnoll monarch. Other gnolls not make friends. Me like having friends. No want change. There's going to be a ton of these voidy slither drinks wandering around. I, I'm assuming this gets me the tavern, so this should be the end of it. Oh, Emberthal's back. Hey, Emberthal. There is much to be done. I'm not sure I understand what goes into choosing a message for him. Hey, Calic. Fair skies and strong winds. Come back I don't soon. Have oh, Chromie's in I here now. I always have time for you. We'll meet again. I've seen it. Listen, other player, which I admire his mog. His, his mog is his mog is I on point. I am proud to serve others. <laughs> is he a death knight? Is he a DK wandering? Yes, he is. So his eyes are glowing. I'm like, Kulturians don't glow like that. All right. I gave Rudia. Look out for each other. Thank you, Orlea. If these do not help Emberthal, I don't think anything can. Complete quest. Personal tabard. Stay well. Everyone, after hearing these stories, I finally made my decision. How exciting! Finally, I can't wait to see it. I've decided to not choose a visage at all. I do not need one. Orlea, the stories you brought me weren't about finding yourself. They were about accepting yourself. That is who I am, and it is enough. This is who I am, and that is enough. Oh, Emberthal, I am relieved to hear it. God, they're all talking at the same time. I, I missed what was going on because I was trying to read what they were saying. So now you're all just going to leave, huh? All right. Crummy. So, the dialogue they said before they all left and fireworks went off. Arleia, the stories you brought, you brought me weren't about finding yourself. They were about accepting yourself. All right, there's there's some other dialogue from another NPC who ran in. This is who I am, and it is enough. That's Emberthal. Uh, Skelkman Verdia says, Oh, Emberthal, I'm relieved to hear it. Synthrys says, Does this mean the celebration is off the table? And Chromie says, Not if I have anything to do with it. Okay, hey, Chromes. Why, hello? Keeping a close tabard. 
Oh, hi, I get it. Um, wow, that's a super nifty tabard. And it's all yours to customize however you want. Kessa should be able to help you bring your designs to life. Go ahead and pay her a visit to get started. Speak with Kessa in the Victoria's Visage. Okay, Take I think care I don't of yourself before. out there. So I'm going to spend a few seconds with my tabard. I don't really wear tabards. But I have much to offer. I like to customize my personal tabard. I'd like to replace my personal tablet with a personal tablet. Okay, I guess exchange. I guess if you throw it out, you could, can you sell it? You can't. It, yeah, for twenty five silver. But okay, Looking that's good. For good to know you can get it back if you get rid of it for some reason. Um, add some personal flair to your wardrobe, keeping a closed tablet. I'd like to cuss my personal tablet. This window is terrible. This is awful. This is... This is wor... This is worse than the guild. This is worse than the guild one. Oh, well, no, this is exactly the guild one, but I mean, you're able to at least... Okay, you can zoom in on yourself. All right. Because really, looking at the picture here, you can't see shit. This is... This is... It's... It, it, they changed nothing. They changed it, basically. All they did was make it a per It's a guild tabard for your personal self. They didn't change anything. Yeah, now we need the word on. They gotta do better than this. I mean, it's nice to kind of... If you're not with a guild and you want a tabard, sure. Will that be But if all? I'm gonna do that... If I'm gonna do that, I'm going to get the chainmail tabard that I could buy... That I have. That I bought at the... the uh, Training post. There are better tabards you can get the training post these days, but I guess only the finest goods. It's a it's nice to I guess it is nice if someone for some reason wants a guild tabard looking thing for themselves. I guess. Alright, keeping it close, so let's turn this in. A pleasure doing business. I'm happy to help you design your personal tabard complete. Thank quest. you for browsing. And I guess that's Let the end of that quest business. line. Yeah, and then you can Will just go back to, to customize. Okay, so that's the end of that quest.